hands together for our very first guest. I love him. He was on. Uh, he was on the first season, ladies and gentlemen. Armando Torres. Yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> Am I in frame? Yeah. Look at that. Uh, Hi, tonight show. Tallest guest. I'm gonna knock that down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna break it. <laughs> the thing is, is they said the Hi, tonight show, and I thought they just meant really high up. You know, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I am the best guest for this show. <laughs> I'm so st I st I'm so stoned, and I smell. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> I'm high out of my mind, and I have. Sm I didn't smoke any blunts. I smoked f four hits of a single blunt. <laughs> you guys smoke weed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't smoke weed anymore, <laughs> despite <coughs> all of this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just heard random hip hop. And I, was, <laughs> I thought that's the, the punishment you get for smoking weed. When you say it's, not, it's just you smoke weed and then hip hop starts playing. I uh, I don't really, I don't know. I used to smoke a lot of weed. Now I don't smoke any weed. Um, it's just I don't know. I don't like being high, you know. Or it's being high is fine. I don't like people that smoke weed. You guys know what I mean? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Do you I don't know. I just, here's the thing. What do you? I don't get weed. You know, like I went to a dispensary uh, to buy some weed, and I don't know anything. She was like, "What? What weed do you want?" And uh, I, uh, I just said, "Give me the best weed." <laughs> and so she just opened a jar and was like, "Here, smell this." It smelled terrible, all right? <laughs> I don't know. All weed smells terrible, all right? I know you guys don't want to face it. You don't, you don't want to believe it. Let me ask you a question. What do you call the best-smelling weed? Dank. That's a basement, dog. <laughs> <laughs> the best-smelling weed smells like living with your mom. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't like smoking weed, despite every hypocrisy that's going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I just don't like, uh, I don't like being high, you know? It's a weird <laughs> feeling. It's because every time I've ever been high, the only thing I can think about is that my mom knows I'm high, you know? <laughs> Wherever she is, she knows I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> Even if she's on YouTube.com watching the Hi Tonight Show, she'll know. Yeah. That's it. It's crazy. I don't know. Could you imagine trying to convince somebody to, that's never smoked? Because you never meet anybody. You go, if you ask any person and you're like, do you smoke weed? They either go, yes, I smoke weed. Let's smoke weed. Or they say, no, but I used to. Nobody hasn't smoked weed anymore, you know? <laughs> and it's weird. Try, imagine convincing somebody who's never smoked weed. Do you know how insane you would sound? You just be like, hey man, do you want to be sleepy but not tired? You know? <laughs> you want to be hungry for two different foods from two separate restaurants? <laughs> well, then smoke this and cough for five minutes straight and then question every conversation you've ever had. <laughs> That got sad. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think it's hard to make fun of the one thing that makes all of your lives worth living. You know. That's, <laughs> I roasted Victor a little bit. <laughs> oh, you're just lighting up another blunt. This yeah. is, he forgot that he had a blunt. Now <laughs> oh, he tricked me. He yeah. <laughs> I'm grandfathered in to smoke this blunt. <laughs> <laughs> Victor's got a kid. Victor, congratulations. Thank you. Do you know that it's you know that it's yours? Yeah. Okay. How sure are you? Like like ninety nine. <laughs> That's what my dad always used to say. <laughs> my dad used to be like, I love you and I'm your dad, but I want you to know there's always the 1%. You know, the test is always tells you. It's 99% sure. <laughs> my dad was a dick. My dad was, uh, my dad was a kid when he had a child, so he still acted like a kid. Like, I remember uh, I would play uh, Madden, you know, football games. I would play football with my dad, and then he would... <laughs> win and then he would just be like yeah take that you little bitch to his, <laughs> to his son <laughs> to, 
to just a baby. And then the worst part is he would talk shit on my mom. He'd be like, ah, oh, yeah, that's how I fucked your mom last night. And I was like, you probably did, dude. Come on. <laughs> and then I got pissed off one time. He said something about my mom. And I said, no, you're a mom. And then he paused the game. And he was like, I'm telling grandma, dude. That's not cool. That <laughs> guy's a dick. I, uh, I started thinking about... <sighs> I think I know that I'm an adult now because when I hang out with my friends, I'm no longer afraid that they're going to hit me in the nuts. <laughs> you know? That's the only reason. I don't have that fear anymore. I hang out with a group of guys and I just, I'm not always protecting my balls. You know? <laughs> it's crazy. I don't like, I figured out the only reason, because the people who did that were friends you grew up with. And I'm re- trying to think, why did I even become friends with these people? And I didn't. Do you know what you're friends with who you grew up with? It's because a bunch of... Because growing up with somebody in your neighborhood, all that means is that somebody's dad came at the same yeah. time your dad did. All right? Yeah. That's what... <laughs> Each one of your friends growing up was just another dude in the general area also coming at roughly the same time. (laughs) You know what schools are? Schools are just like a museum of every dude coming. (laughs) 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Armando Torres. (laughs)